Hello everybody, I'm Penguins and I'm <laughs> that dude with the hair. And, uh, we're drunk as hell and we're gonna go driving. Come on, Bessie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, might as well use this. It's probably gonna come in use tonight at some point or another. <laughs> So like we're driving backwards to get out because I'm too lazy to do a six point turn in my own driveway. With Bob Dylan, the times, they haven't been a-changing, have they? You don't know. <laughs> Where are we going again? Um, I know it's a city. The city. Hey, we did this before. Well, Hold on. on it's John City. Wait, no, wait. A boss, he might have had a junior. Perhaps John's daughter. Maybe it's John's daughter city. John daughter, John. It's something like 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 the sun in the sky, a moon or something like John Moon. John. God damn it! Did I tell you about the story of when I went to the strip club? No, you didn't tell me the story about when you went to the strip club. <laughs> Apparently, there was this big ass fight, and it happened right in front of me. While the stripper was dancing, the guy reaches out and touches her. And the oh. bouncer's walking by, and she nods to him, kind of looks down at him. He jacks him off the seat and says, Boy, you've been charging my woman! Wait, he, he, he jacks him off in the seat? Wait, what? Oh, he like jacked him up yeah, off? Yeah. Okay. And he's like, I didn't touch her. She, she made me. And... They just keep arguing, and the bouncer, who's a big man, walks off, and he says something about, I'm going to leave if you touch me, you fucking asshole, and the bouncer just leaps and punches him, and this is happening like five inches in front of me. Beer goes flying everywhere. That's awesome. And just some big blur, like, girls to the back, girls to the back. And my really? friend, yeah. <laughs> Girls to the back! We gotta scream that when we get to like Wendy's or something. We should go through Wendy's and scream, Girls to the back! Uh, I do. Girls to the back! Hello? Yes, uh, let me see. Um, I'll have a uh, junior bacon cheeseburger and a small uh, fruit beer. Yeah, that'll be it. Thank you. So, do you know what a bubble mailer is? Um, I don't think so. Does anyone watching at home know what a bubble mailer is? If you do, good for you. Remember, my family wanted me to run into a certain section of the. This must be Barks root beer. A certain section of the Walmart to uh, get a bubble mailer. And I have no idea what a bubble mailer is. You obviously don't, and if you don't at home, then you're riding in the same boat with us. So I asked what it was, since you know I knew it was on Final Jeopardy this morning, but I think that was when I was mixing the White Russian, so I missed it. But uh, it's apparently one of those tall manila envelopes that has the bubble wrap on the inside of it. So, uh, I said, I, now I know. And now apparently I'm going to Walmart to get one of those manila envelopes with bubble wrap on the inside of it, end quote. So yeah, that's, that's the game plan. We're driving all the way to fuck to Johnson City. <laughs> with that in the back.
<laughs> People are going to be wondering, like, what the hell? <laughs> this full-on pro model 262? <laughs> Lordy. It would be actually pretty funny if, like, you seriously went to a bank and, like, held up a bank with a chainsaw. You know how bad as hell you would have to be to run in there to a bank and be like, run! Give them the money! And just, like, run at people. Man, that would be bad as fuck. That's that church that every single thing they have is based on homosexuality. Like, the last one was say no to same-sex marriage, and then it was homosexuality is sin, and someone removed the S, so it's like, homosexuality is in. And then they quickly changed that the next morning. And now it's remember Sodom and Gomorrah. And I'm I like, yeah, it. that's a happen in town. I read it as sodomy is gonorrhea, but well, that, that actually that that has truth in it. It has some truth. It's about as effective. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, that's wow. Maybe that's what they're trying to subliminally get across. So we're on our way to Johnson City now with the police car trailing right behind us. Uh, again, why this happens, I have no clue. Okay, he's going. We're here at the Sophisticated Otter. We just went inside and had a whole bunch to drink. How was your experience? I don't know if I got yiffed or not, but... <laughs> and it sounds like a furry hangout, doesn't it? Here, let me see. Open your eyes really wide. Ah, yeah, you're drunk. Okay. We are like, we're so blitzed. I had about, oh, fuck, how many Jack and Cokes do I have? Like seven? Seven or eight or something? Six? No, Six. wait, no. Not nine? Or I eight. had half of your eighth one, so you had seven and a half, and I guess I had six and a half, yeah. I'd call it seven, really, because I drank all of them through this really thin ass straw. My blood alcohol level is probably a phone number by now, and uh, yours is probably what you owe in your bank account, which is quite an accomplishment. But uh, yeah, we're 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 drunk as hell, and needless to say, I'm gonna drive. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how many children. Well, I just got pulled over for. Uh, uh, driving under the influence and hitting a small child and not stopping to check if he was okay but I told the police officer that the child was a child of sin and he was I mean his mother listens to Ethel Merman you can only guess what that's a spawning of but anyway uh, he's alright I mean his blood alcohol levels down to maybe like Point five or something. You, you think you'll be able to leg it for the rest of the night? Yeah, sh sh sure. Yeah, uh, we're, we're pretty good. Uh, we're going to go into uh, where is this behind us? Uh, yeah, the, the Crystal Burger. Yeah, we're going to eat some crystals. And uh, well, up here in uh, Greenville, Tennessee, we call it Crystal because we like to eat with class. So we're going into the uh, Cristal Burger, and we're gonna. That was uh, that was his. Okay, we're going to the Cristal Burger, and we're gonna. Ah oh, man, oh, I think I see the parking lot. Oh, is that the Walmart? I believe it is. I should put both hands on the wheel instead of holding a camera and pointing. And my brakes are still not fixed. I have still not fixed my brakes. They're down to scraping the rotors, and the rotors are shot anyway, so I'm gonna have to get those new. But uh, yeah, I've, I've had to use my actual you know, parking brake to slow down at some parts. I mean, it, they still work, but the front ones are worn down, and I don't wanna screw up the pads or the rotors any worse than they already are. But here we are at, uh, oh, stop. Come on, e-brake, okay, there we go. But anyway, uh, here we are at the Walmart Supercenter in not-so-shiny, not-so-zazzy Johnson City, 
Tennessee. Ever get that feeling of deja vu? No. Me either. It's like Pepsi DDR. It's like. <laughs> Take one. Cool. Take one. Don't mind if I do. I better leave one for later. Okay. Okay, I think the deja vu hit in. Totally different homies. Can you believe that? If I only had a... Oh, snap, dog. Look at that shit. I found a quarter. You got a quarter? Check, see if you got any quarters. You want to step up and see which homie you're rolling out with today? I doth bequeath unto you the two holy quarters for the homies. Series 7. 7 series. <laughs> it's like the bins. You mean like the bins? <laughs> Come on, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Show it who's boss. Check it out, dude. It's Kung Pao Garcia's. He's like, why not make me an offer? <laughs> You're all hollow. You find a nine iron? Oh, smack the crap out of somebody over there. Uh, uh, uh. Why don't I have all the chicks? I am the first! Or this has to be by far one of the scariest things I've ever witnessed in my mortal life. It's a fox, right? It has no eyes, no body, and this. Yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh, it's a fox. I should buy that. And then. What do you do with this? Where do you put it? I'm sure if I brought this home to my dog, it would look up at me and be like, Fred? What the shit is that? You know. You show someone this, they're gonna wonder things. That's why I always when you. You know, when when you bring something up like this somewhere, you make sure the front is there so they know it's a dog toy. I mean... Who comes up with this stuff? Uh... And that. <laughs> no one's buying these things for their dogs, man. It's real! <laughs> it's real! <laughs> oh my god! There's one for you too! I will never drink it. I told you dude, zombies. Well, I should come out and confess something this time around. Uh, the firewire cable we bought last time, I got home, 
<clears throat> discovered that uh, the reason my digital video camera that I'm recording with right now would not load up on my computer and register was not from a faulty firewire cable like I had thought and driven 100 miles to fix, but instead I just needed to restart my computer. Good times, man. Good times. All that way. Come on, e-brake. Come on. All right. Was the juice worth the squeeze? Was the juice worth the squeeze? Wow, the juice was mightily delicious. I really don't know. I'd say so. I had a damn good time last time. I mean, this time, all we drove 100 miles for was uh, the bubble mailer and a regular two liter of uh, Mountain Dew. 